family. Be, be king. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share. Thumb up the video. Go over there to uh, King Gates Music. Go over there. Subscribe to their channel, family. Again, July 23rd, 7 o'clock. Aboriginals Exposed 2. Going live right here on Jai Power University. Now, <laughs> Trump says George. Trump said he hoped George Floyd is looking down and seeing today's job numbers. It's a great day for him. <laughs> man, this man is the most insistent man I ever seen in my life, man. Y'all need to get Trump some media training, yo. Whatever he think, they just fly off his lips. It don't matter who he hurt or none of that shit. Man, that man, body still warm. Ain't even in the grave good. And this man, gonna, that's very insensitive, Trump, to his family. The jobs, jobs, like who cares about that right now, man? It's the middle of a pandemic. You can't have go nowhere, no way. And say you actually safe. You see what I'm saying? This man gonna come over here and talk about whole George Floyd looking down and seeing today's job numbers as a great day for him. How is it a great day for him? I mean, Trump, some man, this man, and like I told y'all, y'all not going to be able to change this by voting, cuz. I mean, Donald Trump brought on the flame to the point he let y'all know how he felt. Y'all niggas, we crackers, we don't like y'all, y'all don't like us, it is what it is. He said that it just, no matter who it hurt, but he said that, you know, what most presidents would never say. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I can respect the man that say what's on his mind. And then, even if it hurt motherfuckers, because I don't like that shit either, because it do be hurt. It just be slamming down on niggas and shit. And it be, it be fucked up. But at the end of the day, what would you rather have? Somebody that tell you like it is? Or somebody that feel the same way and just don't say nothing until you walk away. See what I'm saying? But they, see, the ones that ain't saying, they more deadly and shit. Y'all like Hillary and shit, man. She was all over in Africa bombing and doing all kind of shit. You see what I'm saying? Y'all like uh Obama and shit. He was in Africa doing all kind of shit, tearing shit up. Look how many people died. And it was like when uh the, under the reign of Obama, that's when all them faces was dropping or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? It was like Mike Brown and everybody. It, Trayvon, that happened under Obama. You see what I'm saying? But Trump, man, with this been the, I know, yo, this lad 2020, man. Trump done made history for all the wrong reasons, man. First, he said he was going to have Mexico build the wall. <laughs> he going to make them pay for it and shit. Now, he got his wall, right? They didn't pay for it. He used taxpayers' money to pay for their wall down there. But that ain't really the wall that he wanted. The wall that he wanted was some big, big shit. But he set up for what he can get. Then, he turned around and talked all this shit. About black people. Call niggas in Chicago uh, monkeys and shit. Don't make me sit in the National Guard and shit like that. Call said, you know, these uh, Black Lives Matter damn is a terrorist group and shit. Man, see, Black Lives Matter is not no damn terrorist group. <laughs> they don't got no weapons. They don't, they be laying in the street at y'all feet. They is, don't try to see how they try to always control their narrative, though. You see what I'm saying? And this man funeral was what? Yesterday, day for yesterday. And then the next day, Trump come out and say that, that it's a great day for George Floyd because of the jobs and shit he brought. Man, see, he always trying to make it seem like that's why he put his name on the bottom of that check. <laughs> that's why he put that uh, uh, Donald Trump. 
And then he sent you a letter and shit like, nigga, I, I gave you the money, nigga. Just to make sure he want everything he is he doing is a legacy move. Everything he doing is a legacy move. Like, it's going to be when Corona jumped off, Donald Trump was the president. When the uh, George Floyd riots jumped off, Donald Trump was president. When the walls get built, Donald Trump. All of this shit that's been happening, you know what I'm saying? Checks and shit, all that shit. Donald Trump, a lot of that he ain't going to take credit for, but it's going to be on his legacy anyway. Who was in the main seat? When all this crazy shit was going on in the world and in America particularly. I mean, first of all, this man say China, but then you will say that these is good people. But then you will say, you know, we like the Nazis up there in Charlottesville. Y'all say, oh, he, Donald Trump say, oh, darn, nah, them Nazis, man, they some good people. You know what I'm saying? But then turn around when niggas start marching. They turn around and say, uh, these is terrorists and bombers and looters and anarchists and all kind of shit. See, they not going to let you fight with that plight and shit. Just like I was getting on Goofy, uh, what's his name? Killer Mike. Now, he got a shirt on that say, kill your masters. His shirt say, kill your masters, but then you see him on TV crying. Yo, man, stop, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. So, he a hypocritical ass nigga. Period. And then you got Trump, who is a tyrant. <laughs> who is a bully. Trump is a bully, yo. He bullying the world right now, nigga. Now, Ed, don't sit up here and lie. The United States Army is a bully, motherfucker. See? I noticed y'all done quiet it down when he say, you loot, we shoot. I'm sending in the National Guard today. Y'all motherfucker got real quiet then. Y'all motherfucker got real quiet then. Because you know good and damn well you do not have a weaponry to fight the United States Army. Because you, you got the opportunity right now. I bet you a hundred dollars won't nobody do nothing. Because y'all already know they the world power when it comes to military. They spend more money on military than any other nation, all the other nations combined. Cause they why would why would a person need that many guns and tanks and planes and ships and shit? All weapons of mass destruction. Why would you cause they done they go around the world taking people shit. Now since the pandemic been going on, all the stores light. Why? Because they ain't been able to move around the world, take people shit. And bring it back to America so they can say, oh, the America is the greatest country in the world and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But they go around the world stealing other nations' resources and turn around and be like, oh, man, look at them. They poor in third world nations, whether it's the Arabs, whether it's Africa, whether it's the islands, whether it's South America, whether it's Asia. They go all over the world taking all the people's shit. So that's why they need all them weapons of mass de destruction. And Trump, no, can't nobody fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? See, they had all, they done planned this shit 10 steps ahead. So, knowing how they is when these race soldiers out here, if that's why they locked uh, the dude up, they was trying to lock the dude up that took the uh, video of Brother Aubrey now, when them crackers were saying niggas and shit and shot him and whatnot. They tried to lock him, see if they could keep that shit quiet. They know y'all motherfuckers ain't going to ride. It's just that they got, you know, Brother George Floyd joint on tape. And see, that's what make niggas ride, being able to see it. But that shit been going, I've been seeing faces popping up as George Floyd case been going on. Other brothers and shit popping up, missing and dying and all this shit. All different kind of ways. So, you're not going to be able to win by vote. Our, our, our ancestors been trying to vote and vote and vote for years. And all you hear the people out here saying, right now in 2020, we need to vote. 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 Man, we ain't went no further than 1960 talking like this. That's why I already know y'all not ready. I just put up the Khaled Muhammad uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, video is three of them. Niggas scared of revolution. That just real. Niggas is scared of revolution, family. You not ready. Killer Mike say, and then listen to Killer Mike. Man, you on TV crazy. Y'all don't be doing that, bro. We got a big ass t-shirt on that the world see. They say, kill your masters. What masters you think? What you would the fuck you thought they were doing? So, practice what you preach, my brother. Practice what you, some Barry White. Practice what you preach, my brother. Kill a mic. See? So, to, or take that damn shirt off. And say you a part of the LBGT, whatever. <laughs> Period. You had the LGBT was out there tearing shit up, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, they more harder than Killer Mike, for real. But Trump is a bully. This man done said, uh, he hoped George Floyd is looking down and seeing today's job numbers as a great day for him. You are insensitive, man. Hey, fuck what Trump talking about. George Floyd, y'all family, love y'all. Uh, he had a beautiful daughter and uh, daughters. and. Hey, we got y'all out here. That's real, y'all. We always keep Brother George's name alive. So, got another video, family. See y'all in a minute. Jop out. B-B-King.